What is going on guys? We are back at the tabletop and today with something cool, something new, at least to me. I don't know exactly how long these have been out. Um, but these are basically fake light magazines made by RWB out of Korea. Korea. That's where they're made. And uh, it's funny they got the red, white, and blue. Unless Korea's flag is red, white, and blue, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm that uncultured, forgive me. Uh, probably is. The, to think that that's such an American thing to think that only we could have a red, white, and blue. I guess ours is the only one that matters. Um, just kidding. But not really. Um... This is what they're calling it, the Bakelite, not the Bakelite, the Bakelite. Uh, I have no idea. In Sunset Orange, okay, and, and we have one already installed into my Polish WBP CG1. Excellent rifle for sure. Uh, if you are in the market for an AK, can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. I also definitely like the Zastavas. Uh, the Serbian guns are really nice. And, of course, Arsenals, the Bulgarians, all that good stuff. Uh, but, anyway, Fake-A-Light magazines. Why Why would somebody want a Fake-A-Light magazine? Okay, why would, why would anybody want this? Okay, um, well, because the real ones are, for one, probably the best AK magazine ever made. Uh, nothing but utterly reliable and super classy while they're getting the job done. But, let me tell you people, they are exorbitantly expensive for a real one. I've seen them go for close to $200 per magazine, and it's really just a flex. You don't need Bakelite magazines just for your AK to work. That being said, if you have actual Bakelite magazines, they will work, um, given, you know, they're not damaged or whatever. But people like the look, okay? Uh, it's kind of an AK guy thing. And if you don't understand it, you don't understand it. I have a couple of the real ones. I've spent the money. I didn't spend that much money. I paid like 50, 75 bucks for them. Um, but these are cool. These you can get for like 20 bucks or less. And from my... Uh, from my examinations here, it appears that we do have a steel locking tab inserted into whatever polymer this is. Uh, it's not real Bakelite. Uh, it's just mimicked to look like it. It's some kind of, maybe it is a newer form of Bakelite and even stronger and better. Who knows? Um, but they are, you know, again, RWB out of Korea and I've had nothing but good luck. I've got a few of their drums. I've got several of their just regular steel 30 round magazines and I've never had an issue. And uh, now this is just kind of cool. It's fun. It's whatever. And if they are actually reliable mags, um, that's great because they're going to be a little bit lighter than steel mags. And, uh, you know, if you still get the same functionality, how could you complain? Plus, you have that cool classic look. Um, as far as the feed lips being uh, reinforced, I'm not so sure. They look just polymer or whatever material uh, this is. But then in the front, it does appear that the front locking tab has a steel insert or at least aluminum or some kind of metal insert in it. Um, this one was real tight going into the gun the first few times I had to force it in there and then after I did it subsequently shaved some of the polymer off the mag and now it works fine so and that's what you're going to find with AKs okay the mag wells are all cut a little bit different um, some of the polymer mags or the plastic mags or the whatever type of mags um, might not lock into the gun or at least right away but you can file down you know here here, whatever, I would, I would file this down first, you know, before you start messing with anything up here. Sometimes it's just a little too thick or beefy up here with uh, with the polymer mags, and that's just the way that it goes. And again, AKs being unique and far uh, have far more character than ARs, okay, which are just plug and play, everything's the same and super boring. Each one of these is unique and has its own personality. Uh, not all AKs, even high-end, nicely made, military-style AKs, uh, will fit all magazines. And there's a bunch of countries and companies that make AK magazines. So, you know, try and stick to what you know, what you like, but trying some new stuff, especially if it's cheap, and then especially if it keeps working or works to begin with. Uh, that being said, I have not, I literally just opened them out of the package and turned on the cameras, because I did, this is the first time hearing about it. This is the first that I saw that these things were available. They've probably be on, been on the market for years but um you know me always always slow to the ball but i don't know 
Let's load them and see how they load. Uh, having, this is not, by the way, <laughs> real quick, this is not a recommendation. Again, just like a, hey, look at this, this is cool. And let me know if you know anything about it in the comments section. But um, no rounds to these magazines. I will test these magazines the next trip I make with this guy or any of my other ones. Um, I will make a point to do so. That being said, I don't know when that's going to be. But I think they're pretty cool. They look cool. Let's see how they load. You know, shout out Trailer Swift on Twitter for hooking it up. Much appreciated. So. How do these mags load? Let's see. Uh-oh. There we go. We're going to lollipop it, too. It seemed like they're going in good, like any other magazine, I guess. Um, Uh-oh. I want to get that out of there. Oh, sh I think I did actually just lose it. Where'd you go? Son of a dick. I see, with the amount of rounds that I lose just doing stuff like this or just normally like loading mags or messing with ammo and guns and whatever, like the amount of rounds that I lose just one by one, just one by one they did throughout the years. There, uh oh, what the heck? Did I just see one. Uh, okay. One of those rounds I thought looked a little sus, but I was just not paying attention. Looking for this other freaking round that I dropped. But what I was saying is the freaking... Oh, I found it. Nice. From all of these, <laughs> from all of these that I freaking lose throughout the years, um, I'd, I'd like to know how many thousands of rounds of ammo that I've just lost, you know, throughout my life. Um... I don't know. I know it's probably boring just sitting here watching me load this mag, but we're seeing if it loads like an AK mag loads. Seems like it does for the most part, and then we're going to see if it locks in the gun after it's loaded. Although I shouldn't have loaded this one. I should have loaded the new one, so we might have to stop and redo it. Just kidding. There's no edits here. That's what you expect here on the Terribly Tactical channel. Mediocre at best, but uh, at least I have personality, right? All right, so that's that. Let's see if she goes in the gun. Alright, so just like the other one, it was stiff out of the package, and um, I had to slam it in there, but you know, you just force it, whatever. Uh, let's see if this thing freaking loads. It sure did. It sure did. Good. So now that we know that you can load these mags to capacity and chamber at least one round in this specific rifle, uh, these are dead nuts, reliable mags. You can 100% trust your life to these. Um, I I'm kidding, folks. I'm being facetious. I have no freaking clue. But, I mean, they seem to work like mags, right? And they seem to look like Bakelite mags, even though they're fake alight mags. Uh, but it's cool. It's cool, right? Because not everybody has 150 bucks to buy the real thing, nor do they actually need to because they'll be fine with just a standard surplus steel mag for 10 bucks or 18 bucks or whatever you guys are paying for. Um, you know, the Magpul stuff works good too. You know, US Palm, whatever you want to get. Um, steel reinforcements are preferred, okay, because on this steel rifle where it locks in, where it has the highest friction points on the mag, okay, steel is harder than polymer, and if you don't have steel reinforcements or at least some kind of reinforcement, um, probably going to wear out eventually, so I'm glad to see that these do have the enforcements, reinforcements built in. That's a good feature that lets me know that they're taking this seriously and they were building it properly. And uh, so then on top of that, it's a more accurate replica or fake or whatever, clone. Um, and it looks good. It's going to look good in pictures. It's going to look good when you're out on the range. You know, people that don't know any better might think it's a real one or at least at a glance. And, you know, whatever. You could go steal the Valor with the freaking fake light mags but they look cool and if they work they work i will definitely give you guys updates and let you guys know what's going on with that i'm going to leave these things loaded because they're mags and mags are meant to be left loaded 
in case you need them. So, um, you know, there's that, right? Right, you think? You'd think so at least. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna test them out. I'll get back to you guys. But if you guys already have any experience with these, leave it in the comment section below. Let me know. And uh, that's that. Just wanted to bring it to the table, quite literally, and let you guys know that they are out there. If you're looking for some Bakelites, but you'll accept some Fakelites, uh, 20 bucks or less, bro. You got it, dude. <laughs> so anyway, appreciate you guys. Shout out to Phoenix Ammunition. Shout out to Trailer Swift. Um, I love this thing. Shout out to the Polish people making quality AKs. And I guess now RWB for uh, stepping in on the fake light market and providing uh, buffoonery for all the AK guys on the interwebs. Is it real? Who knows? Leave it in the comment section below. And of course, guys, make sure that you are fighting for your rights. Make sure you check those first three links in the description box below. Those are a great place to start to help you do just that. But we got to write, we got to call, we got to protest, we got to civilly disobey, do whatever it takes to maintain our freedoms, okay, which we cannot do without this stuff. Uh, take it seriously, people, and do your part. Everybody has one of those to play. Uh, if you like what I do here, you want to help support the channel, you can check out any of the links pinned in the comment section or in the description box below, the link tree, all that good stuff. The main thing is just liking the videos, sharing the videos, interacting down below with comments, whatever, to help drive that anti-gun YouTube algorithm out of here. Uh, it's always very, very much so appreciated, guys. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the next one, because you know there's going to be one, probably in like 18 hours from this one with my upload schedule. And I'll see you guys there. Peace.